What's up YouTube? It's Afty, and I'm going to show you this little program for virtual reality that's a huge game changer. If you played DCS in VR, you know that checking your 6 is a big pain in the neck. And with my setup, whenever I have to check my 6, I have to let go of either my stick or throttle, depending on which way I'm needing to look in a dogfight, and you really don't want to do that. With these VR headsets, your field of view is pretty narrow. In real life, you have amazing peripheral vision. We almost have 180 degrees field of view, so if you wanted to look behind you sitting in your computer chair, you just need to turn your head about 120 degrees and you can see pretty good behind you. But wearing the VR goggles, your peripheral is very limited, and when you turn your 120 degrees, you don't get all that extra peripheral vision on the left and the right so you you have to crank your head even further to see behind you now the track IR peeps have an advantage with having an owl neck now us VR players have VR neck safer it really should be called VR neck saver but that's a different story now I know this works for Steam VR I haven't tried it with anything else so just a disclaimer. All you need to install VR Next Safer is by downloading the program from this website. The website link will be in the description below. Extract all the files into a directory of your choice. Make a shortcut to the program. And once Steam VR is active, open the program. You will also need two free buttons on your stick or throttle for toggling left and right. But if you're a track IR user as well, like me, you probably have a couple buttons for zoom in slow and zoom uh, out slow. I just use those for left and right. Okay, once you have VR Next Safer open, you want to set the reset button, the same one you would use to default VR view and recenter VR headset in DCS and IL2. Those buttons will be in the controls menu. You also want to set a button for the left rotation. So this would be zoom out for me and right button would be zoom in. So whenever you turn your head and hit the button, you'll gain an extra. I have it set to extra 45 degrees. You can increase or decrease this depending on how far you can move your head. But uh, now I'll show you how it looks in the game. Okay, we're in the F5 Tiger in DCS World, and we have VR Next Safer open, ready to go. So I'm going to show you guys what it does in game. So I'm going to hit the left button that I have set up on VR Next Safer to give me an extra 45 degree view to the left. So it kind of gives you like a little snap view type thing. So I'm going to hit the button just by looking straight here and you can see what it does. So left, extra 45 to the left. And now we're gonna hit the right one, extra 45 to the right. So this is very handy when you wanna check your six. We're gonna turn our head left 120 degrees and then we're gonna hit the button to give us an extra 45. So we're gonna turn, we're gonna hit the button, boom. You can see behind us. And we can do the same on the right side. Look to the right. Hit the button. You can see behind us. So this is very handy for keeping your hands on the controls and just hitting a button to check your six. The only thing you're going to need to do is get used to the snapping of the view. Because if you're tracking a bogey and you have the button held and it comes around closer to the front and you want to let go of the button, it's going to snap you back to a uh, one-to-one one ratio. So you just got to be, be, be mindful to move your, move your head back to where you think it is in uh, the relation. Alright, so let me know what you think of VR Next Safer in the comments. Uh, this is Afti signing off. We'll see you in the skies. Good hunting.